Hello, this is Matthew Mead, and this is a review of some of the new features and improvements made in the Axis Camera Station 5.47 release. In this release, we have improved the recording playback timeline. You can now place your mouse cursor on the timeline, and you will see a thumbnail image of the recording at that point. You can then click on the timeline and be taken to that exact position. The next feature is an integration to a new ACAP or app, the Axis Speed Monitor. The Axis Speed Monitor takes vehicle speed data from the Axis D2110 radar. The speed information can then be overlaid on a camera image. The data is also available in data search. Another improvement is to the filter. You can filter for values, for example, speeds above a certain amount. You could use this to ensure that drivers are adhering to the site regulations. The next improvement I'd like to highlight is related to the configuration of the system. Time synchronization is really important, not only in the performance of the system, but also within the logs. We now have a time synchronization menu that shows not only where the devices are getting their time sources from, but also the synchronization between that device and the source. This is really useful for ensuring that the time synchronization throughout your system is as precise as it can be. The final improvements I'd like to highlight have been made to the unified access control. We can now create subservers and create global card holders and groups. A global card holder credential will then be shared amongst the subservers on the same network. We have also improved our QR code credential feature by the introduction of a dynamic QR code. This is used with a new mobile app called Axis Mobile Credentials. The use of the dynamic QR code improves the security of the temporary access credential. Finally, we have also added time when you are defining access rights. For example, you can grant access between 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. As always, this is a overview video, so please take a look at the release notes to get a full indication of what's included in the release. Finally, here you can see the dynamic QR code in the mobile credential app, which can be used by a visitor to gain access to your site via an access intercom. Thank you for watching.